Hey everyone, it's Sharon North and Marshall Decorating. I just thought I'd let you know how we do our cutting in on our jobs. We've got two lovely bedrooms that are up in the eaves of this house. Um, and there's a couple of things that I think if you're doing any decorating this weekend would be quite useful tips for you. So we use a brush and a roller technique. And the reason for that is when you're then using your roller, you won't get the effect called picture framing. So if you actually just use a brush when you do your cutting in, let it dry and then use your roller, the, the textures won't match. So you can minimize the texture of the brush and the roller by doing this technique. So it's really quite useful. So you need to get yourself a mini roller tray, mini roller, and obviously the sleeve. Everything I get comes from Color Supplies in Leighton Buzzard, but obviously you're not always gonna be in Leighton Buzzard. I'm using the Axis cutting brushes, which are really, really useful. This is a two and a half inch brush, which is quite a nice size for my hands. Um, I recommend that um, the reason I think you don't want to go any smaller than that is you want a lot of paint on the brush. People who don't get a decent cut-in line are often working with a brush that is too dry. So you want to load up, there's quite a lot in the bristles of my brush. You want quite a lot of it. Um, and so when you start preparing, this is my technique. I'm not saying it's everyone's technique. It just works for me. I've perfected it over a long time. So what I tend to do is I put a bit on, and that's going to kind of give me a bit of, lubrication for the action that I'm going to be using. <laughs> Decorating is one of those things that is just always going to be full of innuendos and I apologise if I offend anyone but that's going to give me some, I don't, want, I don't want traction, I want it to be moving along quite easily and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bristles, I'm going to steady the bristles, you see I'm sort of fluttering my hand there like that, into the crevice of the cut-in line and then I'm going to let the brush do the work so I, I don't really think about it and it just slides along. So I'm pushing it up into that cutting line. And because the brush is quite loaded, it just slides into that area like that by itself. Yeah, so if you get any little imperfections like that bit there, we're gonna be going around again. You can get them next time. And you often don't have to go in as hard into the cutting line on the second stage because you've done it right first time. Here, I'm just gonna kind of get this along and smooth that out. For a little area like that, you can just put it up into here, use this side, don't go too close, you don't need to go too close, what you're just doing is you to even out what you put on there. And that's gonna avoid your picture framing. You wanna work quite quickly, so you wanna be quite confident, keep going with it, you know? Don't um, stop for too long. If somebody's gonna come in and bring you a cup of tea or something like that, you're just like, yeah, put it down there. <laughs> Get to the end of your run of the wall first say at the bottom there before you stop and have your cup of tea. Um, this is gonna save you from having that stop start look as well because it's just textured, it's even that texture out. Okay, I hope that helps. Happy decorating, have a great weekend.